In this video, we are going to see the plane selection G17, G18, and G19. First, let us understand, is it really necessary all the time plane selection before you do any machining? Not really. This plane selection becomes important when the controller need to understand the direction of machining. That is mainly required when you do a circular interpolation or a radius compensation. So in any of these situations, you may need the plane selection. In the main machine switch on condition, there will be some default codes active. So for a VMC or a milling machine, the code which will be active will be G17 plane. That means XY plane. Whereas on a turning machine, the code which will be active will be XZ plane. That means G18 plane. So whether you define this in your program or not, that will be active. Now when you want to define these codes, is mainly when you do a circular interpolation or a radius compensation. Now, this is for a VMC. You know how the axis nomenclature is. So horizontal axis is X. Then the opposite axis is Y. The spindle axis is Z. So whenever you are working on XY plane, so commonly when you work on a VMC, you will be working on XY plane and the infeed will be in Z axis. So this plane will be G17. The code for XY plane is G17. And the next one is XZ plane. So you can see the infeed is Y axis then it becomes G18. And when the infeed axis is X and the plane is Y, Z, then it becomes G19. So let's look at how the plane selection. Now, for a better understanding, the axis is shown like this because we need to show the infeed axis. This is X, this is Y, and this is Z axis. So if you, this is as if you look from behind the VMC machine, the operator will be standing here. So in such case, your regular axis system, your infeed will be Z axis. So your circular interpolation will be like this, infeed is Z axis. So the code will be G17. And when your infeed axis becomes Y axis, that means your working plane is X, Z, then it becomes G18. And when your infeed axis is X, that means you work on Y, Z, then it becomes G19. So the question is, when do you really need this? In a VMC, most of the time, the infeed axis will be like this. The other two axis will be required, other two infeed direction would be required when you use a right angle head. So you can see, a right angle head is used in a VMC. The infeed axis is X and here the plane is Y, Z. Now let's examine a turning sender or turn mill sender. So here, you know, in a turning sender, there are two axes. Spindle axis is Z 
and the diameter axis is x. So xz plane is g18. It is a default plane. And xy plane that is g17 and yz plane that is g19. So this will be required when you want to do a milling. Just plane milling you do not need the plane selection command. In any plane you want to do, you can do. Irrespective of the plane selection command, you can do any operation. Except circular interpolation, drilling cycles, and radius compensation. So, here you can see when you want to do a milling operation on a turn mill, in feed axis is x axis and the plane is yz y z so this is how the plane selection is made and it is not necessary all the time to define the plane it is required only when you do a circular interpolation a drilling cycle or a radius compensation 